everybody! Um, I'm just gonna apologize in advance for any numerous of cats that run by, but I'm here to help you kind of make your own little gift. I'm gonna go over what you're gonna need. So I do already have my um, canvas painted black. You can paint it whatever you want. <laughs> um, but I have this, and this is 11 by 14 canvas. Um, I also have some twine. I thought it was called Twill, but it's called Twine. I, it's a whole story. I also have Think of Jingle Bells, if you can find just two, do it, because I don't need all these. <laughs> um, I also have just some ribbon that I like, um, along with some scissors. And I also have these two paint markers. I thought my other white marker was working, so hopefully this will work. If not, we're gonna go gold the whole thing, but I'm probably gonna make it a little bit prettier. But what I'm gonna do is I'll just show kind of what I'm doing on the floor. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my canvas here. Sorry about Lucy. Um, so first off, I am just gonna start with this. I already did tie it, and I already made it kind of for uh, the width that it needs to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to slide this back on. And I'm gonna make sure that this is over here kind of towards the side. And then I'm gonna flip that around and make sure. I'll probably end up tightening it again, actually. Okay, so I'm not really gonna worry about this because I'm gonna make my own bow to kind of like hot glue on this once also don't have my hot glue gun yet. So I'm gonna do that just another time so just know you'll probably need hot glue unless you just wanna tie it. If you can tie it and make it pretty, you know, go for it. But that is not, that's not my forte. So basically all I'm gonna do is just, <laughs> I'm sorry, my cat, she, yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bow and honestly, I'm just gonna tie it like the normal bow. If you wanna go and like search up really cool ways to do the bow, definitely do that. But basically, I'm just gonna make it how I want it. All right, so I think I have it how I want it. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room for it to wrap over a couple times just because I think it looks better. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this aside over here. Hope my cat doesn't attack it. I'll probably cut the thing off just so I know. And next I'm gonna get my jingle bells and I'm going to open them. I want I actually I was only gonna do two because the picture only has two but you know what? Oops I didn't need to grab that one. So I'm gonna do one of each color because, you know, festive. I'll give this one to Lucy. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my little twill. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my three different lengths that it will like kinda hang down. So I'll probably do one like a little bit longer and another one, another one. But first I should probably thread them through and tie it. And then I'm gonna tie it up here. And basically, it'll hang down like that, if you can kind of see. Um, so then, I'm basically just gonna do that for the next but I'll make them a little bit shorter. Okay, so I do have my jingle bells on now, and obviously this is gonna probably get cut off or I'm gonna cut it shorter. I haven't decided, but this is why, you know, we did this, cause that'll cover up those little yucky yuckies. Um, also, I'm probably gonna take this twill and I'm going to go over the ribbon. 
just because I think it'd be kind of cute to kind of go over it like that and have it do that. So I'm going to do that and tie it and then hot glue it. All right, so now we're getting into the fun, fun part, the writing. So basically we're going to write, sorry, I'm gonna readjust. And you might not be able to see me write it, but I'm gonna write jingle all the way. But I have been doing a little bit of calligraphy because you know, quarantine. And uh, it's been a while since I've done it, but, um, yeah, I'm basically just gonna draw. I'm gonna freehand it, which honestly, is that the best idea? Okay, so I'm just, I did, I don't know if you can see, but I did go and trace it just since I don't trust myself. So we're gonna, if I can get this cap off going to go ahead and start chasing. Oh, Lucy, stop it! Okay, well, it's not as predominant as I want it. I'm probably going to wait for it to dry and go over it again. Um, but there you have that. I'm not in love with how I did way. But you know what, we're gonna fix it because what we're gonna do is anytime that there's a downward stroke, we're gonna give it another line beside it to make it thick. Okay, so there we have that. I think it actually came out pretty cute. Okay, so now we're just gonna put the finishing touches together. We're gonna kind of cut these down. Make sure they're not gonna show. Honestly, probably should have done this before I did all that painting so I mess up I might cry so then basically what we will do is we'll hot glue this down but there you have it guys well I'll probably obviously cut this down but <laughs> this is the finished product. My cat keeps attacking me, but this is what it looks like. So obviously I would just kind of hot glue this down and be finished. Which I will hopefully find my hot glue gun for Christmas and then give this to somebody. Well that is the end of the video. Here is the special guest. Um, but we hope you guys, you know, do this and enjoy it and give it to someone and make them really happy for Christmas. And we hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Bye.